What's up guys, I'm Rasim from RossmarTech.com. How are you guys doing? I'm doing well. Hopefully you guys are doing well today too. Now today, we're going to show you guys the brand new Raspberry Pi 3 model A+. Yes, A+. It has been announced and it is available to purchase as of today. So this is the Raspberry Pi 3 or the new Raspberry Pi uh, page where you, where you could buy it right here. I'll leave a link to everything in the description. Let's take a look at some of the pictures. As you can see, it's a lot smaller than your normal Raspberry Pi uh, model, like the Raspberry Pi 3 model B+. The reason it's a lot smaller is because they took some of the components out to make this more affordable and to take out some of the components that uh, some people won't ever use. You know, some people, you know, most people get use out of the Ethernet port more USB uh, ports and stuff like that, but some people don't. You know, some people into robotics or into programming might not need all those components. So having a a, uh, a model like this, it's definitely definitely makes sense. So I'm definitely gonna order a bunch of them. Now here's another picture, very cool. All the all the Raspberry Pis are very like awesome to look at. You know, especially if you're into like electronics and computing, it's it's a beautiful thing. It's a work of art, in my opinion. So. Again, I'm definitely gonna buy like four or five of them. You guys know me, I love Raspberry Pis. I, ha I have literally maybe 20 or 25 of them in my closet. I don't know if you guys have ever seen the video where I go through my like closet where I show you guys all my Raspberry Pis and single board computers. I have like 20 Raspberry Pis and uh, like maybe 10 other different single board computers. If you guys are interested, go look for that video of me talking about my single board co computer collection. But let's look at some of the specs. As we can see, it's got the uh, the same processor right here, the the Broadcom BCM two eight three seven B zero Cortex A 64 bit SOC, running at one point four gigahertz. Now, one of the one of the big differences, it's the RAM. As you can see right here, it's got five hundred and twelve megabytes of RAM, half the RAM that the Raspberry Pi three model B plus has. Again, yeah, this is catered to uh, people. Who are who don't ex, who don't really need that extra RAM? Who don't really need the Ethernet port? Who don't need all that USB connectivity? It's catered to like programmers, ro people into like robotics, people who, who might just want to play some like retro games that does not need that much RAM. You know what I mean? Like stuff like that. So uh, it's got 2.4 gigahertz, uh, same uh, wireless connectivity options and Bluetooth options. Uh, extended GPIO pin, same uh, 40 uh, GPIO, GPIO pin header. This is the GPIO pin header used for a lot of different people into like robotics and stuff like that. So it's pretty cool. Full size HDMI, which is the same. Single USB 2.0. It's not even a 3.0. It's a 2.0. So it shows you that this this board is catered to a certain type of uh, p person. So single USB 2.0. We showed you that. It's got the CSI camera port which is this right here and uh, what else we got we got DSI display port we got stereo output and composite video port same port and we also got the same micro SD port and also it's 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 got the same uh, power requirements 5 volts 2.5 amps and it's got a DC power input for that so that's pretty cool so the uh, you power the Raspberry Pi using a uh, micro USB port and it needs five volts and 2.5 amps, which is not hard to get. Those are, those blocks or adapters are pretty cheap. Um, what else we got here? Let's look at, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So this Raspberry Pi again is catered to uh, the specific uh, person who just needs specific things like Maybe they're just going to be uh, using this board for programming or just for uh, you know, like robotics stuff and stuff like that. So I like it. I'm definitely going to get it. You know me. Like I said, I, I love my single board computers, especially Raspberry Pi. They're cool. So I'm going to get a few. Now, if you guys made it to the end of this video, now I'm going to need your guys' help. So what I really want to do is, I, you know me, I like my... Uh, I like to create like uh, cluster computer video series using the Raspberry Pi. So I, I want to create a uh, cluster computer using the, the new Raspberry Pi 3 Model A. But I need you guys to like this video. If everybody likes this video, if it gets, let's say, 200 likes, 
if this video gets to up to 200 likes i will definitely definitely uh create that series and um if it gets up to 200 likes i am i'm going to create a straw poll a straw poll between like how many actual like units that people want to see uh, let's say i'll put like uh, option one five option two ten option 3 30 raspberry pi cluster so i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm going to start that straw poll after everything is said and done and the winner of the straw poll whichever whichever result uh gets the most uh votes i'm actually gonna create that project so if it's the the five raspberry pi cluster uh, gets the most votes i'll create a five uh cluster out of the new raspberry pi 3 model a plus if it's the 10 or if it's the 20 so that's how that's gonna work out but again I need at least 200 likes in this video because if I want to be able to know you guys like uh, like that idea you guys are willing to support me uh, so if you guys like it again I will create that series so again this is pretty much it for this video if you guys like this video please give me a like if you want more videos like this please subscribe to my channel I'm Rasim from RossmurTech.com and thank you guys for watching